says, my king is the king of the Jews. He's the king. Next one. Look what it says. Our Father, say our Father. In heaven, say in heaven. God, heaven, two things about heaven. One, heaven is a place. Okay, when you're a little kid, you learn heaven's up there and hell is down there. And we used to, as a kid, you're going down there. It's hot down there. The devil's down there. And when you grow up, you think, was that really true? Well, all I know is that I was in Hawaii in August, and there was, a, there was a volcano, active volcano, and hot lava was coming from down there. <laughs> a whole lot of it. So all I know, it is hot down there. <laughs> and we don't want any of you to go down there. Heaven is a place. Heaven is a place where the streets are gold. Pearls, diamonds, and rubies are construction material. There are gates, 12 gates. There's angels, the throne of God's in heaven. Jesus descended from heaven and he ascended back to heaven. Jesus said, in, my, in heaven, in my Father's house, there are many mansions. It is a place. In heaven, there are no more tears, no more sorrow, no more death. There's no chaos in heaven. In heaven, there's perfect peace. Peace means complete order. It doesn't mean quietness. It means order. You ever go to the, to the beach or to the, just nature, the beach, the mountains with snow, the mountains with not snow, the forest, the desert, and it's just like spiritual. Spiritual. Y'all know spiritual? Spiritual. Y'all know that term? Are you spiritual? But spiritual is spiritual with some hot sauce on it. <laughs> Try it. Say spiritual. Then, that, then you feel that. Feel it, don't you? Feel it. <laughs> spiritual. Spiritual. And when you go out to the to the to the forest or to the beach, it's just like watch the sunset. What anything that's nature without man having touched it is just something. Amen? Even there's wind, there's leaves, there's birds chirping, there's squirrels squirreling, a bunch of stuff is happening. It's not that it's quiet, even though it could be quiet, but a lot of busyness, but it's peaceful because it's all ordered. It's coordinated. In heaven, the controlling principle or the, the prevailing principle is peace because it's all under the influence of God. What makes heaven heaven is not how it's constructed. It's not the weather. It's the fact that God is controlling it. That's what makes it heaven. So you should seek not heaven. You should seek the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God is not a location necessarily only. It is being under the influence of the ruling presence of God. This is very important for you to understand because you don't want to go to heaven. You can come to heaven right now. You can have heaven in you right now by allowing God to control you, influence you, or vice versa, by you being completely submitted to the presence of God. This is very, very important. The Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Don't seek, I got to go there. No, seek the presence of God being submitted to the presence of God. That's what you need to see. Lord, help me understand to think like you. I want to talk like you. I want to respond like you. I want to, I want to uh, act like you. I want to be under the influence, not of marijuana, under the influence, not of cocaine, not of, of whatever. I want to be under the influence of the Holy Spirit. That is the kingdom of God. That's the kingdom of God. Amen? 
And so when it says our Father who is in heaven, not only is our Father there, well, he's here too, but wherever he is in complete control, that is heaven. That's the kingdom of God. So in a month from now, when we start saying, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven, how does that happen? The Holy Spirit takes over. So when you say, Lord, thy will be done in my life as it is in heaven, I want the per per perfect love that's in heaven. I want it in my life. I want the perfect wisdom and insight as it pertains to my life that you understand in heaven. I want it in my life. That's what that means. So when you pray, first thing off, our Father our daddy who is in heaven and whose presence creates heaven. Your presence establishes the kingdom of God. The kingdom means king's domain. The kingdom of God is anywhere that God has dominion. If you say, God, I want you to have dominion over my thoughts, dominion over my fear, get rid of it, dominion over my future, now you are starting to experience the kingdom of God. 